Okay, this is the closest I could get mine without damaging it, I think. You need a 3 millimeter Allen wrench. Everything's metric on these things. And what you're going to want to do, is you'll notice what I've done to mine, is I've loosened it so much so that it just almost just pops off practically. You know, it's just literally popping off. And I think yours is one step beyond this. But I didn't want to turn mine so much that it messed it up. What you do is right here, this little guy, you take your three millimeter Allen wrench and you stick it in there. Get an angle. Uh, so lefty, I'm going lefty. So I'm turning it to the left. Not too much, because you don't really, I mean, it's really just a hair amount. So I'm just twisting it. I don't want to break anything. So now that I've done that, I lift it back up. And now when I click, see how I gotta really squeeze it. Oh, really get in there. So all I did was adjust that little knob. Three millimeter Allen wrench. Okay. So now you know all about the lock mechanism. Um, I would probably adjust it to be really hard to open like I left it. If you're just going to set the bike up and leave it, you know, full, well this is in a part, but if you're going to leave it fully set up all the time. Or maybe turn it to the right a little bit if you're going to be popping it open all the time to fold it up and put in your car or the back of your truck or whatever. Uh, and then the last thing I forgot to mention is there is a little piece which I would consider a safety right here and after you have it set here you slide that in and it goes right into the hole there and that is sort of just an emergency you know in case you hit some big rock or something or whatever just sort of a safety to finish the project when you're all said and done so that is all about the handlebar setup. Thank you for watching.